Hello, my name is Aaron Sutherland, and I am a SUSE certified instructor. I recently obtained the SLES SCE certification. I would like to talk to you today about how you too can obtain your SCE certification. The SCE certification is the SUSE certified engineer certification. We're going to start by navigating to the SUSE training site at training.susa.com. To see what certifications are available, we click on the certification link. Here we see a list of all the certifications that are currently available. We're looking for the SCE in SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 15. We'll go ahead and click on the link to register now. This page shows us the details and objectives for the certification. For instance, we can see things like prerequisites, which for you to obtain an SCE in SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 15, we need to first have the SCA in SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 15. We can also see that this exam is question-based. We'll have 90 minutes to complete the exam, and we have to make a score of 70% or better to pass. We can also see that the exam costs 195 US dollars. Scrolling down a bit shows us a detailed list of objectives for the exam. Now, let's take a look at the courses that are available to help you prepare for this test. What we're going to do is scroll back to the top of the page, and we're going to click on the Courses link. This page shows us the different learning paths available. You can see here that we do have several learning paths to choose from. What we are interested in for right now is the SCE certification. To find a class for the SCE certification, we need to click on the link for Enterprise Linux Learning Path. When we click on the link, we're presented with a full list of the courses that cover SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. We're looking for the Advanced Administration course. So we're going to scroll down until we see the SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 15 Advanced Administration course, or the SLE. 301 v15. We go ahead and click on that link. This next page shows us the course details. For instance, this course can be attended virtually online or you can attend it in person in a classroom or you can attend the class through an e-learning subscription. This course is a four-day course and it is an intermediate level course. Just below that we can see the objectives that the course will cover and a course outline. Once you have determined that this is the correct course for you, you can locate a list of online or on-site classes by scrolling to the bottom of the page. If you don't see a class shown in your geographic region, you can scroll up and click on Find a Training Partner link to find a class in your region. This map shows all of the regions where we have training partners. Select your region and look for a training partner that you would like to use to attend the class. If you prefer to take a self-paced e-learning class, you can find that by clicking on the back button in your browser, scrolling to the top of the page, and clicking on e-learning. Here you can purchase an e-learning subscription and consume the class contents on your own schedule at your own pace. Once you have attended the class and you feel like you're ready for the exam, the next step is to schedule the exam. So we click on the back button and on this page, we're looking to take an exam online. Click on the link, and the first thing you need to do is create a SUSE account. So you'll use the here link to create an account. Once your account is created, you can use the certification exam platform link to schedule the exam itself. 
I hope you found this video useful. And should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for watching.